Halloween time, that's really going to be creepy. Like, that's really going to freak people you out. Can, you have to adjust your lighting for that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, it's like, what's that noise? It's the clock oh. going on. It's like, oh, it's probably me. You're like, oh, it's just gin. It's, it's the top it's of the gin. hour. It's Hi, everybody. Hi, everybody. And see, I got it done in time. Oh, there uh, we are. Oh, yeah, you woo -hoo. We're That's on the so big screen. <laughs> That's us. Oh, I know man. those. I know those girls. Okay. Let me get my hair just right. Yeah, I'm always afraid when people put us on the TV. <laughs> like, I, know, I know when Apple says I got you on the TV, it's like Apple. How big is your TV? <laughs> right. If you're on a 72 incher, I'm sorry. <laughs> you got a 30 inch. Cool. We're cool. good. <laughs> <laughs> Scary. That's usually how I watch on the TV. Are you serious? Can you see the chat though? I've never tried. Can you see yeah. the how do you type? Oh, you have to like hook on your phone and then type. Oh, gotcha. Oh, you like mirror it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. See, okay. I can't see the chat. I don't have a new enough TV. I don't think it has to do with the TV. It's just there's a thing on the bot. There's a little button that says shut down. Yeah, oh, maybe I just to... don't do that. <laughs> you you don't have the right finger action. You have to I push. <laughs> I gotta get I gotta get the right finger action going. <laughs> that, button, that, button, that button right there. That one. If you're on someone's TV and they can't see, and they can't see your pores. It's not big enough, Anne Marie. Oh, you see all this? You know I do that. Things. Yeah, I like. I'll I'll have the oh. news or something on on my TV now. I have a big i have a 48 inch tv it's not huge but it's big yeah. enough i can see people's pores <laughs> i got a bigger no, TV. I that you big one. enough for that i never use my big tv i always had the little ones on really oh well that's oh, yeah, good see? little little tv is good like in my bedroom and you stuff got us on a big screen let us know <laughs> Yeah, I could have um, put out a little Avon or something before. Before. Hi, Doug, not Denise. I like that. Oh, I know. Goodness. Zooms in and puts gin on wall projector TV. <laughs> I mean, that's um, um, Outdoor theater. <laughs> but hello, Jan. Hi. Hi, Poppy. Hello, DM. Thank you so much, DM. She's putting in links, guys. She's like, y'all goofing around. I'm working. I'm working yeah. here, y'all goofing around. We're <laughs> Hi, Mary Ellen. <laughs> uh, hello, Mary. Hello, Anne Marie. Hello, Doug. Doug, Doug. Doug, Doug. Hi, Doug. And Mary Beth. Hello there. Hi, Denise. So, Hi there. Denise. So, yes, this is part two of the Double Wednesday Sale. Thank you, everyone, who joined us this morning. If you weren't able to join us this morning, hey, put that on your to-watch list for later. Check us out. <laughs> we had a lot of fun this morning. <laughs> I it's so good. Hi, Tracy. Hi, Susan. Hello, Susan. Hello, Tracy. Hi, Sarah Lee. <laughs> oh wait, is Zelda sleeping? <laughs> oh, I shouldn't have said her name. Hi, Pop Pop. <laughs> well, they uh, never. I've always found it, it. A lot of times, they don't know it when it's not their, you know, their owner's voice. It's like, oh, okay. You can say the word, and it's like, eh, I know. Not, I, and they're I not talking about knows. me. I don't know who <laughs> that is. No touching the buttons. Hi, Mikey. I got I gotta get Zelda some Halloween toys, <laughs> some Halloween dog toys. I gotta go back up to Bucky's, get Carol her um her um tote. <laughs> now that I know for sure which one it is. Oh good. good. I mean, it looks like paddling in the water. <laughs> You're not gonna push the buttons, no. <laughs> She said, Doug, if you wake her up, I will drop her sassy beep. <laughs> <laughs> See, Aspen, Aspen's not like, she'll take two naps. She'll take two naps now. She'll take one in the morning after her breakfast because she's fat as a tick. <laughs> she's so full. <laughs> and then she takes one at four o'clock before her dinner. That's oh. it. 
peanut naps all the time, but Mikey, he he's active. He's too busy. <laughs> yeah. Too nosy. Yeah, the cats mm-hmm. sleep a lot. Yeah, yeah. But I think they're like, up. I think they're up most of the night. I don't think they sleep a lot at night. Oh, they're they're there when I go to sleep, and then as soon as I go to sleep, then they're gone. Do you ever wonder what they do at night? Mine don't do anything. I know they don't. They just, <laughs> so they just lay my around. daughter has a camera in her room that records movement, right? So she she'll go back every morning and watch. And Aspen will walk on her then lay on her <laughs> and then pop up lick her face jump down <laughs> play with toys then jump back up <laughs> this is like, these are my cats this is them 24 7 just Aww. laying there laying there sleeping like what are you doing taking our picture what are you doing there but they just sleep like that constantly so cute. they sleep a lot during the day yeah yeah, yeah. joe yeah. only wakes up to let me know that he's hungry and he wants more food <laughs> just like a man and then he goes back to sleep <laughs> just like a man wake you up because they hungry hi mark and michael hi guys <laughs> thank you for joining us Stop it. Stop it. oh my goodness well we are so happy that denise is joining us for part two of the sale if you notice from this morning, Denise has changed locations. <laughs> yeah, every everybody's used to my switch o change o. Yes. <laughs> Hi, Geneva. No, I redecorated. I had the house redone. Since this morning? Yeah. <laughs> Since this morning. I don't know. Your mom's got some gorgeous lamps. Yeah. Yeah, really she's got pretty. nice stuff there. She doesn't have box. Well, there's a little room off of this uh, next room has a few tubs in it that might I mean, be mine. Yeah, that might be mine. <laughs> you can see she's, she's rushing over to unpack those and, and get those taken care of. Um, when her kitchen caught on fire a couple years ago, there were a lot of tubs in here. So it kind of spurred spurred us on to get rid of those. Mm. Oh, good. Thank you, Mary Ellen. I'm glad. <laughs> yeah, my dogs love the paper, too. They love that white packet <laughs> paper. paper. Yes. Yes. Oh, that's yes, overflow, overflow from the attic, <laughs> the basement, the basement, the attic. The the house. Basement, the yeah. attic. <laughs> you should have seen yeah. when my dad was alive. I'm nothing compared to him. I'm small potatoes. Oh, hey. got to have goals, Denise. <laughs> I know it. I'll tell you, my my husband has to go to Ve- this this year. His work trip is uh, Vegas. I was hoping it was going to be New Orleans because I was going to go, but it's mm-hmm. Vegas, and I'm like, eh, whatever. Mm-hmm. And uh, while he's gone, my husband's the one that hangs on to everything. Well, <laughs> and he doesn't watch these lives anyway. <laughs> he don't care. So I'm gonna I am gonna do some spring cleaning whenever he goes to Vegas for a week. Oh my! Plus, it'll keep me busy. Maybe you should do like Christine. Maybe you should sell off the shelf, except like I'm talking about I'm gonna in my husband's drawers. <laughs> We're going to sell gonna, it. I no, I won't get rid of his clothes. He, yeah, he, well, no, but his yeah. pens right. are. You know. Right. But like our kitchen, like it is, in, I'm kind of a, a mug hoarder, <laughs> I think. <laughs> I have like 30 mugs and it's only me drinking out of them. <laughs> There's no need for me to have that many. So I'm going to, I'm going to cut it for down. every day of the month. Right. I'm going to cut it. Well, because I have a coffee mug that's big, like my, my coffee mugs are big. My hot See, I like these mugs. kind of mugs. These, yeah. See, these kind of my hot things. cocoa mugs are smaller. So oh, sure. These you know, stay hot forever. I'll have a drink right now. Those do stay hot forever. Is that the Starbucks one? No, it's uh, Contigo. It's oh, just, yeah, 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 yeah. Those are good, too. And I like them. They're, Not they, sponsored, but could be. But. <laughs> They're expensive. My God. But they last for a while. Are you Contigo? Yeah. Yeah, I dropped my last one out on the cement floor out in the garage, and it just kind of blew up, and the lid broke, and it was a mess. Oh, really? Well, Mary Ellen... 
You don't buy want one a coffee mug? Last forever. They're a little pricey, but but they're good. Yeah, but um, they last for a long time though too. Yeah. My other one would have. It was several years old, and if I wouldn't have dropped it, it would still be here today. <laughs> <laughs> You look so sad about it. Well, I Mary Ellen, I don't drink. I don't drink coffee. I don't drink tea, but I do have mugs for hot cocoa. Well, I yeah for hot cocoa, but I also mm -hmm. just somebody might come over someday and want a cup of coffee. So, <laughs> oh, so you do you keep some on hand? Do you keep like what instant, or do you keep or do you have, like, oh the pod things? Yeah. yeah. Uh -huh. So I'll have something to drink when I come over is what you're saying. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I don't, I can't, I'm not the type of girl though that can drink coffee all day long. Like I drink, oh. I drink one cup. Sometimes I may need to, depending on how. Yeah, I just drink one cup too. And that's good. Yeah. But it's what, it's a good cup. It's but like. It's got, it's got cocoa it. too. It's got hot oh. chocolate. Hot so chocolate you, with coffee. Oh, So you wow. made a mocha. That's a mocha. I don't know, but it's good. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Call it anything you want. It's yeah. good. Yeah. Hi, yeah. Joe. I'm here for some coffee, right, Doug? Let's do it. Doug, Doug, let's do it. Plan it. <laughs> Chris, look at the people. She like, nope. And then she'll turn around and come back. I drink a monster. Yeah, as long as you guys are ready to do some work around here. <laughs> We're all hyped up on our caffeine. <laughs> well yeah i don't i can't drink it all day if i drink it past noon i will not go to sleep at night and i don't know why i've always been that way everybody Maybe else i'm not sleeping at night <laughs> <laughs> everybody else i know can drink it all day long like my dad my grandpa all, like all of them had a coffee pot going all day long yeah. Oh, yeah. And and after dinner it. coffee it's like what i would be up all night no. if i had coffee yeah. after dinner I can't, but I can't take um I can't take the Nyquil stuff because it makes me. Ugh. <laughs> it I like that. Uh, I like uh, Cornholio. <laughs> like it's crazy. It, it winds me up. The liquid is like twelve percent alcohol. What is Nyquil? Oh well, that's yeah. <laughs> <laughs> There you go. Uh, a, a whole 12%. That's wine. Wine is 12%. Yeah. And lighter weight beers. Oh, are drinks it 24-7. I wish I could. Because I love I love the smell of coffee. I even yeah. have a coffee candle, but it didn't like it because it didn't smell coffee enough. Oh. I mean, but I got it for like three bucks at Walmart. So, you know, I wasn't expecting too much. It smelled good in the store until I lit it. <laughs> then I'm like... No, this does not smell good. It doesn't does smell not. like fresh brewing coffee. Yeah, this is not a oh, coffee. Yeah. I French yeah. press. That's too fancy for. Oh, I, I, love I the French press. I've never had one. I'm just like a a Folgers with some hot cocoa. That's. I do the I do the French press on the weekends. Oh, what is it? I mean, oh, it's, so it's a, it's it's like espresso coffee. You can go, you can put any coffee in it at all, but yeah. it's. A, I thought I had one because I thought I, I picked one up. I, I don't anyway. Anyway, so, no, it's right here. <laughs> I was like, all right, so this is a French press. This will be for sale tomorrow. <laughs> Just letting you know. So you put the coffee. This comes out. This comes out. Then you put the coffee in here. You put it down and then you with water and then you slowly go like this. And then the coffee's right up here and all the grounds stay down here. It's really it's good. It's really good. Huh. It's strong. Well, mine well, is. If you're at, at my house, you can have a Keurig. <laughs> Keurig. Hey, they're, they're, they're nice and easy. Let the machine do all the work. I know. Yeah. That's yeah. why it's only on the weekends because it's too much. <laughs> like, yeah. I, don't have, I don't have two minutes. I want to know who's, who's still using a percolator. Anybody I using a percolator? I, I had one, I sold yeah. it, and I am so mad that I sold that thing because I really wanted to try it. I loved watching the little perk, you know, go up in the mm -hmm. in the top of it. Was I it a plug-in, electric plug-in or electric mm -hmm. percolator? Oh. Yeah. Uh, one of the older ones. 
I was afraid to plug it in. Yeah, my grandmother always I had one going on the stove. Mm -hmm. You know, just right on the burner on the stove, and it would yeah it was percolating. I was that was one. fun to watch. That was. Oh, Carol does. Nice, Carol. Yeah, the coffee was the best in the percolator. Huh. The best. I want yeah. an electric one, but Doug, I want a metal agrees. one. That was the best. I'm too lazy mm -hmm. for all of that. Oh, yeah, the Pyrex one. Yes. Oh, I've got several of those in the closet. If oh, somebody wants those um, Pyrex percolators. What does it look like? Hang on. <laughs> Just a second. Let me go get one. Just hang on. Hang on. What's it look like? <laughs> That's I true. I do. I have Keurig pods and I have Tide pods. You got to be careful. <laughs> you got you to gotta know your oh, pods. <laughs> and you got dishwasher pods too. Do you have the dishwasher true. pods? <laughs> oh, man. Too many pods. I just remember <laughs> yeah, that. Keep track of them all. I had to buy some <laughs> yesterday. We don't do the pods because it, it, in our machine, we have a front loader. So it didn't, I kept finding pieces of it. Like it didn't, is there an electric it one? Enough. Oh, well, well, I have an old, I have an old one. Ooh, there's there's three of them in there. Awesome one. Um, she thinks one of them's electric. This one's not electric. I will pay you two American dollars to put that in my box. <laughs> You know what? The the bad thing about about you can't sell them on eBay. Oh, really? What? There what? was a, what? Is that the electric one? No, it's the other one. I want to keep that electric one. Oh, okay. The electric one's not for sale. Um, they were recalled because apparently the handles broke off, or the rim oh. came off, or something, and people got oh. hurt because they had. Oh. I'll just put this one. You want me to sell this one? Is that okay? Yeah. Can I sell this one? Okay, I'll put it in the sale pile. Well, there you go. She Spoiler wants to alert. Keep the electric one, so. Spoiler alert! Something's coming up cool. <laughs> there's two of them in there. I mean, if there's big, you know. of course, I should check and make sure that's okay. No, but I feel like. like how many coffee bad. pots can you have? I have three curates. And an espresso. I have an espresso and then three, two backup cure eggs in case something happens to the one that I have now. Oh, you're kidding. I've got well, one. One of the older ones. Like Jen, anytime I was Jen, Jen's one, entering Keurig's Anonymous. Exactly. <laughs> That's why I'm spring cleaning. Uh, <laughs> when my husband leaves for Vegas. <laughs> like, yeah, there's, I don't You know, this is going to be the one show he watches and he'll be like, you're nah. selling my stuff. Nah. Now, <laughs> nah. <laughs> You know. Oh, Doug, Doug yeah. upped it. Three yeah. American dollars. Oh, oh I think he up to $45 for the aluminum tree, too. Who, Doug? Or was that you? Oh, was that me? Okay. <laughs> Jana, I thought you couldn't sell them on eBay. Just build, build Doug. Build, I'll, I'll buy it. Build Doug. Is it, maybe, maybe it's not all of them. Maybe it's just one specific model. Okay. I don't know. <laughs> it was it was Doug. It was Doug and Sandy and me. Doug says just, it was it was him. He's just saying that. Okay. Huh. No, I think it was him though. <laughs> Pretty sure it was. Oh, oh don't yeah. know. he don't know. Those, those glass oh they do. They go for oh that's the electric one. Goes for 110. Oh, <gasps> Um, a what is, oh, it looks just like that one, but it's girl. Don't let me keep an eye out the thrift store. It looks just like that one. Electric. This one goes for ninety. On All right, fine, four dollars. <laughs> They're really nice. <laughs> I'm serious. Why was she laughing? Oh dear, <laughs> Doug. Uh oh, Doug, Doug. Yeah. Oh my goodness. All I right, guys. Know. Well, you know. DM put in all the important information into the chat. <laughs> I knew it. I knew it. Oh my goodness. Well, I we are gonna we are oh, Denise is putting in sevens. Why are you putting in sevens? Seven inch big. big. It's the that's seven how inch. Long the big was. Yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, that's true. That's true. 
I don't think mom would go for that, Susan. It's not really mine. <laughs> do, they, do they actually still make percolators or no? I haven't. Yes, I haven't yes, okay, they, they do. They do. They do because pe and people buy them for camping too. Oh. My, folks, my folks bought one just to use. Yeah, so they do. They do make new ones. Yes, you can get a new one. You can still find vintage ones in fantastic condition at Denise's mom's house. <laughs> that too. Aww. But yes, if you if you ever are like if you're in the Aww, coffee yeah. you know coffee pot aisle or something, and you're looking for a percolator and you don't find it. Go over to where the camping stuff. Like if you're at Walmart, I can't remember if they're in the coffee or if they're in the sporting goods section, but you can still find a percolator. Oh, that's yeah. cool. That's for cool. Camping. I didn't, yeah, I didn't know that. I yeah. mean, only because we don't buy a appliance unless it's dead. <laughs> the one we have now has to, has to be dead. D E D. D E A. DRT, dead right there. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, that's true. Um, yes, and then you can get oh, the, the jumbo like the ones, ones, like you know, like churches yeah, and stuff. Have, church you know, like the big ones. Yeah, there was one of those on the front porch here, and I sat it out by the garage, like kind of like, like here, take this. One of those oh, great, the big ones, one hundred ninety cups. You know, oh. yeah. Yeah. So we just what is it? I have a I wonder if I I have a big crock over here that I'm scared to sell. But just, hang on, just I I put coffee in it. It's got a little spigot. Oh no. Oh tea. You could probably do I tea. Yeah, but look at it. This thing is like that's too big. Oh it's way too well, big. That, that's a lot of tea. Oh. It's a commitment. But it's from like the 30s. That's cool. It's really cool. I thought about using it as a planter. I don't want to ship it. That's too much. It's that's too a lot to ship. Yeah, that's too heavy. I don't yeah, want to ship it. But wouldn't that be cute as like a little planter on my front porch? Well, you don't even, you haven't seen my front porch. <laughs> but at least put something. It'd be there. adorable on your front porch. <laughs> right? Oh, I mean, yeah, I won't ship. I can't ship that. That's, that's a lot. That's, that's a, lot, a lot. lot. That's that's a big, that's a big box. That's my wine glass. Yeah, it is. <laughs> and it's from the 30s, too. So, yeah. Spiked lemonade know. on a hot day. Yeah. Long it's Island really iced tea. Day. There you go. Parties at Jen's. <laughs> or you go to the Dairy Queen. And you get, mug. <laughs> get one of those. <laughs> You know one of those little flavored Mr. Misty's at the um, Dairy Queen? And then you Ooh. just add a little vodka or something. Add a little salt to it. Mm. It's good. Yeah. Wow. Just, a dairy, just a Dairy Queen. Just. It would be a great planter. On, she saw it. She saw it. She didn't act like she wanted it. She had her chance. I know. Christine's Wait, what are you, is so cute. What are you talking about? I I missed something. Her her crock. A big crock. I got. Oh, it has oh. a. Here I'll show you. Is it a red wing? Oh. Oh. I know. I got to take the lid off. Oh, what's it say on the bot? Oh wait, what's it Marshall say? Marshall pottery. Oh. It's from the thirties. You probably. It's, awesome. it's just big and heavy, heavy. All you right, so we're not we're not selling that, but oh. yes, DM, we will get on to selling something. So I oh, am going to pull Jen up on the big screen. Jen, let everybody know where they can find you next and um and then go ahead and show your first two items. All right. So tomorrow is another double sale day. Uh, tomorrow, myself and Karen Vintage Retriever are going to do a sale together on my channel at noon central. So come join us for that. Um, and then later that evening, um, I have the Spin Your Thursday with Roy and Jen sale. Roy is with Dust Not Included. That sale is on his channel this week. And then Friday is the Twin Sister sale at uh, 1.30 p.m. Central on my channel. And my dog, of course, is barking now. Of course. 
Oh, the boyfriend is here, not mine. <laughs> <laughs> not mine. <laughs> All right. It's okay. Your husband doesn't watch. It's yeah. okay. <laughs> no. As many cameras that we got outside this house, <laughs> you can see everybody coming in. All right. <laughs> Offer up starting at $5. And I have a Limoges um, thimble right here. I know this is the darker blue and it has some gold. And then the Limoges is right here. Limoges, France. But very pretty. Very pretty cobalt color blue. There we go. It's showing better with me backing it up a little bit. And it just has a little gold flower on each side. And again, it is marked on the inside. Limoges, France. She fancy. Fancy. Uh, so this measures a little over three quarters of an inch long. And a little over half an inch wide. The HOA would say, yeah, they would. <laughs> Stephanie. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> uh, I don't know yeah. if you find a boyfriend that pulls weeds. I mean, that that's a keeper right there. <laughs> yeah, I, but Doug's kind of on to something. If I can get a boyfriend that's a cable, you know how sky high cable is? As many streaming services as we have. <laughs> Maybe a little, maybe a little discount. I still not wanting to focus. You've lost your touch. I have. It's this blue, and then it has. The yeah, the, the camera is oh, like whoa, too much. Yeah. Can't there handle it. it. There it goes. There it goes. All right, there's that one. If there's no interest in this one, then maybe. There's interest in my second Limoges thimble. This one is like a really pretty blue, almost like a robin's egg. Blue right here. This one's also going to start at $5. So it has the same um, little gold Hi. flower right there. And then here is where it is marked Limoges, France on the inside and i think this one measures about the same this one may be just a tad yeah a little over three uh i'm sorry three quarters inches tall and a little over half an inch wide so five dollars for this one if anyone is interested in the limoges thimble. hi becky Becky. Hi, Becky. Again. They say um, they say Limoges, Mom. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, your food is upstairs. There you go. L I M O G. <laughs> We're trying to bring it in for Mom. I don't want her to feel left out. There we go. <laughs> I love. <laughs> I love her so much. I love her so much. Oh gosh. All right. If there's no interest in this one either, we will pass. And those were my two. <laughs> Thank you guys oh, so right. much. I love her. <laughs> So, Denise, let everybody oh, know where they can find you next and then go ahead. And come to Iowa. <laughs> you come to Iowa and you can find me. Hi, Sherry. Oh, oh dear. Hi, Sherry. Um, I'm on Monday nights with Lisa Funfines at 8 p.m. Central. And I'm on Wednesday nights with Margie um, Vintage Jewels, Gems, and Pearls, 8 Central. Except this Wednesday, you're you said you're not going to be. No, no, I'm not going to tonight because I'm tired. I'm an old lady. Next Wednesday, she will yeah. be. Yeah, <laughs> and um, I didn't bring my list. I'm on one of oh, Saturday nights. Like I told somebody last time, just go to every Saturday night, and eventually 
you know, and just watch them all. And then yes. one of them, yeah. <laughs> she said eventually I'll be couple, on there. A couple of weeks she'll be on there. Yes. And I think it's May 15th. I'm on here again. The 10, I think it's the 15th. And then I'm oh. on, on May something. I always like to just be perfect with my dates and times. Um, <laughs> I'm on the friends cell. And 14th is friends selling with friends. Oh. Okay. Yeah, I'm on that. They haven't had to sign up yet, so I don't know what time. But anyways, I'm just around. Just kind of come to Iowa. You'll find me, and I'm just around. <laughs> I'm coming to Iowa after storm season. But to, after storm season, but before snow season. Our storm season is not any different than yours. I mean, you got tornadoes. And yeah, you guys get the same true. storms, don't you? That's yeah. true. I'll, yeah. That's true. Comes up from Texas and hits Iowa. <laughs> Yeah. Yesterday was like a big drain. It was just all day long. It was just a big drain on the radar. And we were like right in the middle of this. I know I felt like we were going to go down the toilet or something. <laughs> <laughs> it did. I kept looking. It was like just a drain. It just kept going around and around and around. But anyways, here's my first item to sell. And I, I measured it. And it is. Aren't you proud? 46 by 32 and it's a um it's a crib quilt or a baby quilt and it's machine quilted mom did what oh what, um, what's your start price gonna be oh 12 dollars i thought i heard a noise <laughs> oh. you probably heard me say oh oh it was you oh i thought and what does it say? One no. night out? Yeah. Now, oh, now I lay me down to sleep. I pray the Lord my soul to keep. Guide me safely that through the night. Pretty. Wake me with the morning light. Amen. Anyway, wow. in the back has little stars. And I think it, I don't think it's ever been used. I think it's new. Did your mom make it? No. No, mom didn't do this one. And then it's machine quilted. You can kind of tell on the back how it's quilted by machine. It's not a hand quilted. Anyways, it's kind of kind of cute, kind of cozy. Right back. Oh, be careful, Carol. Severe thunderstorm heading that way to Michigan. It, yeah, they kind of been, they've kind of been working their way east. It's Denise's fault. <laughs> yeah. Send them your way. <laughs> Get to the doctor's office right away. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. And it smells good too. That's so cute. I like the colors and stuff they used for the little angel babies. I know. It's blue on the back, of it, but it could be for a little girl too. I know I like her little face. Her little her I would little just face. use it as like a wall hanging in a in a nursery oh, yeah. room or a little kid's room. Yeah, you could. Um, I don't see any other interest. Hi, Janet. I haven't seen you in a while. Hey, Janet. I always think of you in brooches. Ooh. Oh, Zoe, um, Mary Ellen is in at 12. So if you want to bid, you have to go 13. Hi, Zoe. Zoe's at 15. Yeah, that's uh, so cute. Do you want to go up at all, Mary Ellen? That's still a really cheap price for it. It really is. Hi, Zoe. Hi, Sherry. Oh, Mary Ellen's out. All right. We will count that down for Zoe. Going once. going twice <sighs> and sold all righty thank you so much zo all righty we'll just put it down here for now so that was 15 yes to <laughs> zo and then my next item if anybody oh, too bad no <laughs> And 
there's oh i counted let's see one two three four five six seven eight 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. I think there's 19 of these. And um, they're all brand new. They're on these, they're all strapped together. And they're, um, let me stand up again. I didn't know YouTube sales were going to be an Denise action. is getting a workout today. I'm <laughs> <laughs> Jane Fonda on today. <laughs> they're all brand new. Um, I would say, you know, 20, unless somebody's interested in buying a lesser number, you know, you could do it for a buck a piece. Probably just 20 would be the easiest thing. They're 13 by 36. And this is a picture of how they are. What? Oh, it's, oh. A, like a, doily. it's, a, it's classic. a runner. Yeah, classic doily runner. 13 by 36, over 30 something. I think there's different patterns. But this one has these little points, tassels on the end. You know, you could even use the material too if you didn't want to use the um, the doily. You could use. Yeah, they make pretty pillows. Like these things on where it comes to the point, there's the material there. So you can unfold them and it can just be straight across. So you don't have to have the little point thing there. But um, 20 bucks for the whole pile. There's a lot there. And they're all brand new. And they're real pretty. They're kind of pretty. They wouldn't last in my house. The cats would like pull them off. And the edge is real pretty, lacy. But anyways, they, they'd be good to sew with, too, you know, if you wanted to make something with them. And my arm's getting tired, and I don't see any bids, so. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Anyways, All right. Well, we will pass that. on those, but if you change your mind, you let us know. Hello, Linda. It would be Becky. That'd be a good idea. Yeah, it'd be great for weddings, christenings, like anniversaries, mm -hmm. Wednesday. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. Well, it, and it's not, you could have that. And then, you know, if one does get dirty from the cat or something, you got a backup. You got a spare. <laughs> you got a spare ready to go. <laughs> All <laughs> right, Joe. Joe, I know, I know your grooming here is wonderful, but you're in my way a little bit. He's like, that's fake news. I'm going to sit here. <laughs> oh, God. All right. Well, I will next be on uh, Thursday and Friday mornings at 1130 for my lunchtime sales. Friday night, 7 p.m. for the Sue Spezio Show with Aaron Proctor and Angie's Oddities. And my late night sale this week at 10 p.m. on Saturday is with uh, Sabrina. Simon says, let's make a deal. All right. So my first item is going to start at $5 and it is a $19.54 uh, cloth book, baby's own book. There it is. McLaughlin Brothers, 1954, printed in USA, printed with non-toxic inks, really sewn, sewn well in the seam, but it is in, you know, you know, used condition. There, are, There are a couple of marks on it. But thank you, Susan. So that's a no-no right there. We don't we don't climb out of the crib. Double drinker. Oh, you double fisting. <laughs> that <was> juices. <laughs> Is that the next page or did I? Yeah, that's the next page. The colors are still nice and vibrant in here. Hi, Lisa. Hi, Lisa. 
Lisa is at six. Oh, yeah. No seatbelt. Just sitting on a pillow. Ah, oh, the good old days. <laughs> Our cars didn't even have seatbelts. Right. Back in the days when you could slide across the back <laughs> when you were taking corners. Ah, oh, fun times. <laughs> we always laid in the, the back window. Oh, and then it's bedtime after a long day. Oh, that's a sweet one. Oh. And Lisa is at six. You know, right? No seatbelt. Right. It was a game. We would see if we could run it, ram into each other. You have to hear a little nine nine. Oh, thank you, Susan. And we will count that down for Lisa. Did anybody else have the station wagon that had the 10 foot door that you opened up <laughs> and then had the, had the, like the mini couches or whatever they were that folded out. <laughs> Y'all remember those? No. Yeah. I remember. You know, we, we, we never had one that. like that. And then you had to pull a thing and it was like a little couch. We just thought we had our own room and stuff back in that. Back. And sold to Lisa. Thank you. Congrats, Lisa. We had a pickup truck and the kids did ride in the back bed, with, oh, you know, too. bouncing around. You know, right? My grandpa would come back from the B VFW after being there for like seven hours, so you know he was a little feel of it, <laughs> and he would pick us up, put us in the back of his pickup, so we yeah. could run to the store to get milk. <laughs> How we didn't die, I have no idea. Uh, no idea. How we made it, I don't know. I've got another one, the baby sees. And this is from 1959, the Hampton Company. So this is an alphabet or kind of an alphabet like book goes around the house. What does the baby see? Saucepan, ooh, spoon, bowl, dustpan. Thank you, Susan. Oh, a bread box, a pail. I don't think I've ever seen a bread box quite like that. Hmm. Right, Jeannie? A vase, telephone, hassock. What is that? <laughs> Spell that one, kid. Picture. <laughs> <laughs> That's making it hard. Yeah, hard for kids. Sewing basket, scissors, clock, lamp, brush, comb, slippers. You see that, Joe? <laughs> Hi, Jeannie. <laughs> Table, chair, a clothes tree. Oh, that's a fun one. A book. A crib, toothpaste, a stool. Oh, I guess that's why the other one had to be a hassock because we had a stool. Toothbrushes, duck, soap, and towel. And there you go. And we've got Susan in for five. And we will count that down. I know, Carol. Going once. Going twice. And sold to Susan. Thank you. Congrats, Susan. Congratulations. And those were my two, and we're going back to Jen. All right. I have another Limoges thimble. Going to start at $5. This one is a little larger, but it has beautiful florals on it right here. So it does have them on both sides right there. Here is the top. And then the Limoges symbol is right here. 
I'm wondering if those other two were older because those were written in there. This is like a like stamp. You know what I mean? See how those were written in gold? Well, you can't even see it. I couldn't get the stamp in there. Yeah, see how that's like handwritten and then this is a stamp. I don't know. I don't know enough. I don't know oh about my goodness. That's too funny. That's too funny. We were styling the rear seat face backwards. So in case of accident, you could be thrown clear off the vehicle through. Good. Right. Because there was a the back window would come down. <laughs> right. Um, yeah. Those, those things weren't like very sturdy, like a good bump, boom, that they would fall down and you'd be all like this, <laughs> trying to push it back up. Oh, seriously. All right, this one is bigger. So it's an inch, an inch tall by an inch and three quarter wide. So Limoges Thimble, $5 if anyone is interested. They are pretty. They're very well painted. No chips. There. All right. If there's no interest in this one, I will show my last um, uh, Limoges thimble. I did have four of them. Um, this one, it almost kind of looks like a hat. <laughs> but Team No Craft, maybe that's supposed to do something. <laughs> I don't know. Um, but it has the little couple on there right here he's just jamming out she's enjoying the concert uh the limoges is right here but doesn't it look like a hat it looks like you could just wear it i'm sure <laughs> that's for something but i don't know what it's for here it is on your finger so this one's five dollars as well if anyone is interested with the little courting couple i guess on there and i will measure it so this one measures an inch and three quarter tall by a little over an inch wide because of the little hat part right there. I keep calling it that, but I'm sure that's not what it is at all. I'm sure there's an, a name for that or a reason. But all right, we can pass on this one if there is no interest. So thank you guys. I hit a car and then ran a red light. It was older without seatbelts. He went through the windshield. Not a safe car without seatbelts. Oh. Oh. What well, a <laughs> That's maybe one of the reasons why seatbelts <laughs> were mandatory because of accident. Well, I mean, there was a lot of accidents. Yeah. Yeah. I remember my dad putting seatbelts in our car and thinking, what are you doing that for? We're not going to wear those. So Wait, I got you the had to put them in by yourself. Oh, I guess before cars became equipped. Before they them. came, yeah, before they came. Gotcha. Yeah. Gotcha. Yeah. Wow. Okay. I got the coffee pot, the percolator. Woohoo! <laughs> Gonna start it at 30. It's perfect shape. And it's probably uh it's got a little used spots on the bottom. I don't know if those will chip off. They might. I don't know. And it's got all the pieces, all the normal pieces. It's got the lid, which is in good shape. And it's got the, boy, this is heavy. My God. This, I don't know if I'd want to go to all this work to make coffee. It tastes so good. It's got the little <laughs> lid <laughs> and the basket. And that's the part that sits on top of the, um, Thing says, I don't get it. it. Says 120 VAC only, 62 watts corning wire, but it's not electric. So maybe that's the same piece they use for an electric you know one. What? I'm going to skip this because does that go in the electric one? It is electric, but there's no port. I'm just going to skip that one because okay, we're skipping that. Yeah, because something something ain't right in River City there. No, something okay. something's definitely up ain't that right one. in River City. <laughs> yeah, so we'll go to a mohair bear for ten dollars, and he is a um, bear essentials from nineteen ninety eight. 
So he's 26 years old, and his name is Brewster, and he's pretty cute. He's a little bit worried. It's okay, Brewster. It'll be all right. He tells look, he's giving you like the puppy sad eyes. I know. <laughs> he's got angel wings on his back with some. Oh. And Please. using my tape measure, two old guys, he is he's about 10 inches tall. And he's in real good shape. There are no holes or anything. He's got his tag on the back, the very essentials tag. And then he's got his this tag. And he's filled with sand or something heavy. So, but he's just a cute little fella. He says, Mary Beth, I know you're out there, Mary Beth. I know you're out there. I know you're out there in Bear Land. Mary Beth. <laughs> Don't you see me? Don't you see me, Mary Beth? <laughs> Mary, Beth Mary Beth is at her computer. She's like, I'm not looking. I'm not, I'm not, looking. I'm not looking. He's awful sweet. If he doesn't sell, he, he can probably just stay in my house. There you go. Oh, uh, Mary Beth's talking, but she ain't talking to you. No, she's not talking to you. Oh, uh, I know. I know it. Oh, Zoe wants you. Zoe oh, sees oh. you and wants you. Oh, there you go. Oh. Turn that frown upside down, bear. Yeah. <laughs> he's going to a new home. Hey. <laughs> he's really, he's, he's a weighty little guy. He's right, really, it's and he is, mo, he is mohair too. I guess I think I forgot to mention that, that he's mohair. I know. I'm just giving you a hard time, Mary Beth. Well, we'll, we'll do an official countdown going once, going twice. And there it is. Sold to Zoe. All right. Well, Denise, do you want to sell another item and then go go grab an, another one? Oh, I, I've got plenty sitting around. Okay. Um, I will do, there's four bracelets, or they're like bangle bracelets or whatever you call them. These three, I'm pretty sure, are Bakelite. They can be all four for ten dollars. Pretty sure these are Bakelite. This one, yeah. I don't think it is. And everybody always says, "Rub it and smell it." I can't oh, smell. On. I can't smell things, Shoot, right? So that doesn't work out. But they've got that Bakelite look to them. And if you have four oh nine cleaner, you can put a little on a Q-tip. And then yeah. lightly rub like an inside area. And if a little bit of color comes off, bake I've heard that, And I've got some of that. Um, oh, it starts with an S. But, you know, did I bring that with me today? No. Michael likes them. Yay. <laughs> Yay. I think this one's just a plastic. I really do. So. But we can count that down Great for. Colors. Yeah, yeah, I like the yellows and the reds a lot. I mean, the green's pretty, but I think it's just probably a just a plasticky thing. I don't know. I I'm pretty sure that's not. It doesn't have that big light look. Anyways, we can count those down for Mr. Mike. All right, going once, going twice, and sold. Woohoo! All righty, good deal. Thank you, Mike. I think it's Mike anyway. All righty. Let's see. Those are Denise's two. And I have got a $5 start on a wooden um, paper clip holder. So it is magnetic holder. It's a really pretty piece of wood. It's got the nice inlaid design on it. Here is the bottom and here is the top. So this part is magnetic. And this thing is full of paper clips. You're going to get them all. 
You yeah, get all the paper clips. But yeah, nice magnetic one so that they are handy when you need one. And this is about three, almost three, almost two inches. But I'll get in close so you can see the pretty inlaid wood. And thank you, Gatita. And it's just a nice block of wood. Oh, and there's a little oh, heart. Cute. I guess that's the artist's signature there. Well, we will count that down for Gatita. Going once. Nope. Didn't get the cursor in there. There we go. Going once. Going twice. And sold to Gatita. Thank you. Congrats. All right. Next up for the mid-century modern lovers. Hi, Anna. I have got a Chromex server. And I'm going to try not to blind everybody with this thing because it is stainless steel. And it is shiny. <laughs> Woo! It is super shiny. So beautiful stainless steel. And then it has gold, gold tone handles on it. Hi, Thomas. Look at Thomas. On the back here, it does say Chromex made oh, in USA. Clear. And then this center section here for serving, serving little bits, cheese ball. <laughs> but these, these are wonderful for entertaining now with the stainless steel. They're fantastic. This one is 14 inches long and six and a half inches wide. But the little bowl in the center is eight by eight by five and a half. And I'll show the design just in case you have some Chromex at home. You want to add another serving piece. You feel like to match handles or something. This is gold. And then this part is stainless steel. But it is a beautiful server. Here is the back. And that one is $8. And fits in beautifully with mid-century modern decor. All right. Well, we will pass on that. And we're going back to Jen. I don't know why Denise is going. Ah. Oh, no. Thomas, Thomas said, look it. So I'm oh. Lick it. Lick it. All right. My next time is going to start at $5. And I have three uh, pieces in the same lot. So they are glass. Um, I have one star, very pretty, um, ir iridized, um, look on this. So I have a star and then I have two cobalt blue shells Ooh. right here. They look like they match pretty, pretty well, but they are, they're really pretty right here. And the blue does have a little bit of shine to it almost like a carnival glassy shine right there. So there's two, two of these and then one star. Is that choice? No, it's all together. Oh, yeah. Just kill it. Watch. There's probably some high-end glass that I have nothing. 
No, I don't think so. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. Here is the bottom of the shell, the blue. Denise is in for five. Shocker. <laughs> oh. Here is shells. And then Hi, Pamela. Is... Hello, Pamela. Uh, all right. So the shells measure about an inch and three quarter long by an inch and a half wide for the shells. Thank you, guys. And then the starfish, right? Starfish is an inch and three quarter long by an inch and three quarter wide. Now, let me see if I can hold all three of these together. I don't see any markings on them either, but all three of them together. You can turn the air conditioner on if you want to. Yeah. You. All right, we had Pamela in at six, Denise is out, and Susan is in at seven. All right. There we go. They're fo focusing great now. Yeah, and they're shiny. They're really shiny. Pamela is at eight. Thank you. And the backs are very smooth, too. Very smooth. It's and Susan is out. Thank you. See, they are very smooth. They're pretty. Really cool. Really cool looking. All right, then we can count them down for Pamela. So going once. Going twice. And sold to Pamela for $8. Congratulations, Pamela. They're coming to you. Thank you, Denise. Thank you, Susan, for your bids as well. All right. All right. My next item is starting at $5. And I have some new old stock uh, Aloha Hawaii uh, shell picks. So here they are. And then they have little shells on the end of the picks right there. I don't know how many is in here. It's a lot. <laughs> it is a lot. And the picks are a different color um, as well. So if you're throwing a Hawaii party, well, like, oh, there's 50, I guess. Well, I mean, it hasn't been open. So surely there's 50 in here. Uh, made in the Philippines. That's all the info. It, that's all the info it shows. These would be fun if you're having like a lobster night. <laughs> Something. They may glow. What may glow? The shell? Just appetizers at your tiki bar. Just appetizers. Lobster. Lobster. Susan says they may glow. Yeah, I'm tr I'm looking. I don't. I yeah, can't the shells. Glow. The shells might. Yeah, I can't tell if the shells are glowing or if it's just reacting because this is blue and then it's picking up the white and the shells. I don't know. Some lobster. All right. Five dollars if anyone is interested in these. Oh, I should, the other shells. Okay, I'll look at those too. Oh. No, not seeing not seeing any glow in those. They're so cool though. All right. Well, we can pass on the party picks. Those were my two. So thank you guys so much. This is my last set of owls, and they're dated 1970, and they can start at 15. These are metal. Those, oh, those are cool colors. Those other ones were kind of a plasticky color, and it says Sexton, Sexton 1970 USA. Denise is a family channel. What's that? This is a family channel. <laughs> oh, oh! I should measure them. I I don't have my tape measure. Just laying. But they are they are a company that made a lot of different kinds of metal wall yeah. hangings. So, yeah. and I got my tape measure. There we go. 
and they are Ooh, about nine, they're about nine inches tall all the way to the tips of the ears and i know mike that's yeah. like owls oh. owls Ooh. owls <laughs> But they're really cute and the other ones are that hard hard plastic but um but these are these are definitely metal and the paint's good there is some chipping of the paint like around the edge of the eye here i don't know if they all got in a little bit of a spat with somebody and he's got kind of the same thing going on hi mike i'm here waiting for you mike and randy <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that was okay. creepy. That was creepy. All the eyes. Ooh. That's why I got to turn all Christine's owls around when I go to her house. Oh, she's a big owl person, isn't she? Oh, yeah. But they had yeah. to be little. She likes owls, but she likes little owls. Little so there's owls. four million and three little mini owls <laughs> in the room I sleep in. It's weird how people get hooked on to one animal. Like, I like pigs. And I kind of like frogs, too. Um, but I'm not an I'm not an owl girl. I mean, they're okay. I don't. I don't have she's any. She's always liked. She's always I'm, liked littles. Even when, I mean, like whenever I think it, I'm blaming Polly Pocket because remember when Polly Pocket came out in like the, what was it early '80s? We had all. Oh yeah. Oh, those Polly. Do you still have them? No. We those never kept, I, I never kept nothing. My my daughter and my husband are hoarders. I'm not. I'm those like, things are worth some money. Yeah. Those Pockets. Yeah, Polly Pockets are crazy money. Yeah, yeah. How crazy? Because I think Kate has some. <laughs> oh, well, just do, just do an eBay check. I mean, if you've yeah. got a lot of them, it's hundreds and hundreds of dollars. Uh, we can pass on the owls. I don't see any. And I did go get the coffee pot that's the okay. the percol oh. percolator. Boy, it's not near as heavy. All but for Christmas not. all day. What's that? I said, I will hoard some Christmas all day. <laughs> oh, I don't know. I don't know why I've hoarded what I've hoarded. It says Corningware, nine cups. God, I can't see anything anymore. Is that going to be $30? Yes, I'm sorry. This is $30. And we got some little sticker. As Jen would say, her inventory sticker. I don't know where it. I don't know Just where show it. Just the price where you paid four dollars for it. <laughs> yeah, they probably got it for nothing years ago. No, I mean, but it's in good shape. Cool. Everything's here, but it's not electric. The other one, I know, I couldn't figure out what that thing was going up the side. And um, but it's like brand new inside. Oh, it's it smells a little bit like coffee. It smells good, doesn't it? Yeah. It does. Yeah, I like that. Yeah. Yeah, it does. But it's in real good shape. All this corningware stuff has all gotten like pricey lately. Really? I didn't start the hoarding. Well, um there's other <laughs> there were other hoarders in my life for sure, but but um I did my share. But I, I'm working on it. I know I buy stuff, but gotta have a little fun oh my dad oh but he hoarded he was like those hoarders that the garage was full of stuff that was all chewed up by mice and stuff wouldn't get rid of it it's it just no it was just we paid so much money just hauling stuff to the landfill it was horrible that's expensive that's not cheap yeah. it's not cheap yeah so i don't see any interest in that and that's my two. All right. Getting cooled off. Ooh. Hi, Mike. Hey. Uh, let's see. I've got a $10 start on a little Kokeshi. Now, she is really cute because she has this part it's like they scooped out little bits of wood and then painted them so i don't know if you'll be able to see but it's like they scooped out the little circles in there 
And then they scooped out her little collar. So all of these little bits, they're not just painted on. They actually scooped a little bit out of the wood to form the shape. Isn't she cute? Thank you, Mary. Girl, I was just fixing to text you. She is a super cute one. No marking on her. Then there is the back, all black. And then she's got this one little flower. And then like the little, it's almost like the little strands off of her little bow around her neck. Those two, then that cute little flower. And then she's got the little flower up in her hair. Just a second here. I just got a little heart for a nose. <laughs> That's cute. And she is about four and a quarter inches tall. Right there she is overall. And she just adorable. But we will count that down for Mary. So going once, going twice, and sold to Mary. Thank you. Congrats, Mary. That one's different than the ones I've normally seen. I like the colors on it and stuff. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they did a, a really great job on that one. That's cute. It's fun. I keep hearing somebody yelling like the kids are out. <sighs> Jen's going to turn into that lady yelling at from the window. Stop yelling! Get off my lawn! All the kids will have a nickname for her. It's that lady. <laughs> She's that old lady that yells at us. Is that YouTube lady? <laughs> She's up there selling junk on you. Yeah. No, I, I hear I hear kids yelling, but they're not. It's not like a play yell. You know what I mean? But I don't see anything out in the street. So, so I, have, <laughs> I have a nice little like breakfast set, little snack set, lunch set. So it is a teacup, a saucer, and then a plate. Yeah. Okay. It is in a pink dogwood pattern. So I'll show you the luncheon plate and I'll show you the pretty pink dogwood. This is by a Selb, Bavaria, Germany. And so that is the little luncheon plate. And then the saucer does have the little indent here for your cup. So beautiful pink dogwood. And then the teacup on the outside has the little, little unopened buds. And then there is the beautiful design on the inside. So these are nice to have a little matching set for when you have a light breakfast, dessert, a little lunch. And these are nice. Keep these little sets around and you can do little mix and matches if you're having people over for a little light snack or dessert. Then you've got a plate with a matching teacup to give them. And it is really nice having these little sets. And this one, Really nice from Bavaria. So that is $12 for the set. All right, we'll pass on that. And that was my second item. So we are gonna go back to Jen. All right, guys, my next item is gonna start at $5. And I have a cute little Coisonne hat. You can hang it and it does have a little ribbon on here, um, but very pretty colors in it. 
right here. I would just set it out just like that. So here's the ins inside, beautifully decorated all around. I did not find any chips or anything like that on it. So I will measure it or just put it in a window. It'd be so pretty, but it can sit as well. It would sit, it would sit like this if you wanted to have it sitting and it measures uh four four and a quarter inches long by four inches wide can you measure the top of the hat for trisha yes <laughs> it's one and three quarter inches now don't, don't drag me into this thomas <laughs> she, said, she said don't drag me into that <laughs> Right there with the pretty pink flowers. You have the green leaves, the little blue bow. And then again, here is the inside. Right there. All right. So if there's no interest in our little cloisonne hat, we will pass on that. And then my next item is going to start at $3. It's going to start at $3. And I have a little double cat brooch. It is gold tone and then has some soft pink stones in it right here. And they're fancy. They're wearing bow ties. Come on. <laughs> they're fancy kitties. Yeah, Joe. Joe's not wearing a bow tie. No, no, no. <laughs> but I like how the their heads kind of look like hearts. <laughs> kind of they looks do. Like heart. But here is the back. Again, it is a gold tone. And that kind of does stick out a little bit, almost like a little jelly belly. And I will measure it. So it measures an inch and a half long by an inch and a quarter tall. Inch and a quarter tall. Oh, and I didn't check. I don't think those glow, but well, it's pink and it's getting pinker. <laughs> Just need a tuxedo. Yeah, do Joe needs one of those tuxedo costumes. <laughs> that would be hilarious. That would be hilarious. Oh, Hi, so Fuzzy Wuzzy. We have Lisa at three and Fuzz at four. Hi, Fuzz. Thank you. Carol, I see you at three also. Oh, Carol's at five. Why is it not focused? Lisa's at seven. And it does have a little bit of weight to it. It's not crazy, but it does have some weight to it. Buzz is at Hi, eight. Buzz. Oops. Carol is out. And he is the back. Lisa is at 10. Thank you, guys. Thank you so much. And Fuzz is out. Thank you, Fuzzy. All right, we can count it down for Lisa. Going once. You got a bone in your ear. Going twice. And sold to Lisa for $10. Congratulations, Lisa. It is coming to you. And thank you, everyone else, for your bids as well. And those were my two. Thank Congratulations. you. Congratulations. Yeah. I've got some Pillsbury, Pillsbury salt and peppers. This one feels like it has salt in it, but they're, they can be $6. And they're the Pillsbury boy and Pillsbury girl. And they're in real good shape. Um, I don't think, I was going to say, I don't think they've been used, but I swear this one's got salt in it. If it is, it's hard, but I'll clean it out before I send them if they, if it does. And they've got the the rubber stoppers in the bottom. 
And this Thomas is in for six. No, well, thank you, Thomas. <laughs> of course, the lady's a little heavier. Maybe that's just how things go. That's just... <laughs> Maybe her her bonnet is. I, I mean, it feels real heavy. Solid. I think there's, yeah, there's salt in there. Yeah, it needs to be cleaned out. But she's a cute little old lady. You know, she's got the blue dot. Oh, he's got the blue dot on the hat. She's got it on her apron. Hi, Peachy Me. Hi, Peachy Me. <laughs> I know fuss. Oh, well, we can count that down to Mr. Thomas. All right. For six American dollars. I'm so, just going to hold up one of them. Cause going once. Going twice. And sold to Thomas. Thanks, Thomas. I grabbed Thomas. Yes. And that's six dollars. And my next one is kind of different. I start at forty-five dollars, and it's no, just a whole. No, it's six inches, six inches of postcards. Is a lot of postcards. <laughs> I know. Yeah. Oh, and I mean, there's there's a lot of postcards there, and they're just most of them are. Do you want me to show each one in detail? Please. <laughs> no. like to, we would no. like to see the back as well. No. <laughs> yeah. Um, Hi, Pinky Me. You know, most of them are just vacation type things. I'll just kind of hit every once in, you know, like there's some skiing. Does it look like they're U.S., European? I think like that one's... Niagara Falls. I don't know what that looks like. Disneyland or something. Um, I think most of them are U.S. Okay. Roller dam across the Mississippi between Davenport, Iowa, and Rock Island. Huh. I've probably been been there, but I don't remember it. But um, there's just all kinds. There's animals. Oh, there's a zoo. Animals. Um. Well, those are the kind that are really nice that to craft with because you can oh, cut out parts. You know, yeah. you're not worried so much about preserving, you know, a lot of, of historical, you know, significant postcards, but fun yeah. for crafting with. But there's a lot of them. I mean, God, um, I can't oh, remember. Way down moose. Yeah. Camel. <laughs> camel. I've got a whole What's that? It's an upside down camel. <laughs> I've got a whole book full of um, corn palace. Not with me today, but oh, I know. Wow. I know it. It's a whole, a whole like notebook full. But it's just you know it goes on and on. Oh, there's a train, a choo choo train. Looks nice. like most Great. of them, most of them are not used. And probably, yeah, just probably picked up as souvenirs. Yeah. Here's a little group in the middle that's bigger than the rest of them. Oh, what's this? Some mountain. Let's see what it is. Panor oh, the Great Smoky Mountains. I tell you what, that that is just beautiful around in there. I, I, I could live there. Anyways, there's just more and more and more of them. Well, that one looks older. The buildings look older in that one. Oh, oh, that one's kind of cool. Yeah. But um, there's a lot of them. A whole lot. That's a lot. That and you a know, a lot of postcards. That's that was about half the pile that I kind of flipped through there. Well, you could always go on Trish's Friday Night Show seven hundred times. And sell postcards. I have <laughs> one. I have one postcard. <laughs> I love individually. <laughs> what do you think? You want postcards? You can't have postcards. No. Yeah, no, I want to chew it. No, That's yeah, no, no chewing the postcards. But um, oh, there, Indianapolis Motor Speedway. There, woo oh wow, That's cool. Yeah, and I'm sure most of them are older, but um, 
I don't know. I saw this huge box of postcards and it's like, what am I going to do with all these postcards? That's kind of a cool one. I don't know. Oh, it's Seattle. Yeah. Hat worn by Seattle, Chief Seattle, ivory tank of Alaska. I don't quite get it. If I put glasses on, I might be able to see it better. It looks like the inside of a store. Yeah. I know. Like a swap meet or something. It says one, hat worn by Chief of Seattle. Two, ivory tank of Alaska. I don't know. Is that from like uh, the old curiosity shop? I don't know. Denise can't read. Um, oh, I, it is, I think that is what it says. It's the old curiosity. The old shop. curiosity shop. Yeah. yeah, that's down on the on the waterfront in uh, downtown Seattle. Yeah, I wonder if they took the bridge to Alaska to get that. I bet they did because how else would you get to, there? Had to. I mean, GPS takes you that way anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, there's a lot of postcards if anybody's interested. In <laughs> Hey Jason! <laughs> oh, there's a couple, a um, couple of these fold-out ones too. That like one. The oh, and if you guys missed the wonderful, wonderful gift that Sue got, uh, that she showed on Friday night, um, you might want to check it out on my channel, the Friday night sale. Um, yeah, Sue, Sue got an extra, extra special gift, Alaska gift oh oh <laughs> um, <laughs> that that triggered the memory that's right that's, that's right i think that was my two oh um, yep. yep that the was two. Two. all right the salt and peppers and the, oh yeah yeah i remember the salt and peppers yeah <laughs> all right well i have got i got a rock <gasps> <laughs> you're a oh, <laughs> yeah. drop, You made me drop it's my phone card. It's going to come in this really cool case. Denise got so excited she dropped the postcards. Try to look at the rock. <laughs> hurry oh, hurry up before Mikey gets to him. Oh, dear. I caught him on the way down. Oh, oh good. Oh, good. This is a, a malachite. Look at me being all fancy, knowing stones. Right. No, I, I cheated. I, I looked in my book. <laughs> yeah, that was a cool frame, actually. That was a really cool frame. Really cool to display rocks. And so it's not it's not a ton of malachite, but the color is so pretty. The sparkle. Thank you, Denise. The you sparkle just... is so pretty, and it's such a cool shape. Bring rocks to the sale that Denise is on. I promise mine was not on purpose this morning. I picked two weeks in advance. When Hi, Laura stuff. is at 10. Hi, Laura. Do you really peachy me? I bet that's gorgeous. Thank you, Denise. Oh, I kind of want to see the frame again. Oh, See, it's a rock, just, just a rock to me. That frame yeah, is cool. It's just, it's just like a, what is it? I don't even think it's wood. I think oh, it's plastic. Okay. I think it's plastic, but it just has this thicker plastic film on it that when you put, like, when you put this inside, it just kind of conforms to the shape and wow. then you can, you can seal it shut. And then it just kind of, you know, kind of pokes out of there. It's thicker than, you know, saran wrap, but um, but it is just a little plastic. But yeah, then it's cool because you can it'll cool. it'll sit up like this, and then you can display it. And yeah, it is a really cool way of displaying it. So yeah, it's really neat. And then it's just on a hinge. So you don't have to try to line line the two pieces up. So it's just on a hinge, and then that's how it looks when it's closed. But you can cool. see the area where it's kind of stretched out from having this. But I thought that was really neat. That's very cool. neat. No. Oh, the salt peppers. Yeah, they did. 
And we will count that down for Laura. Hi, Erin. Hi, Erin. Hat tip, my friend. Good to see you. So going once. Erin's going to be joining us soon on a Wednesday. Going twice. Oh, really? Yeah. Next month. Oh, well, cool. That'll be awesome. Wait, that was breaking news to Trisha. That Aaron. Is breaking news. <laughs> I, it's, like, it's like when you said, it's like, oh, yeah, I do kind of remember Aaron saying, or here, are you saying something about that? Yeah. <laughs> Next month. Sorry, I don't, not everything <laughs> registers the first time. Sometimes it takes a couple of times. <laughs> Thank you, Laura. Thank you, Denise. I'm going to give me some of those. That's cool. I'm going to give it you some cool. of I've never seen one of those. Me neither. That's cool. Uh, my next item. Oh, yay, Aaron. Awesome. This is going to start at $12. And it is a little lantern, uh, black metal, blue glass lantern. And it does have the little hook up here for hanging. And then it does open up this way so you can put a candle in here. And you can hang this outside, too, because this is all open down here. And if for some reason it gets rained on, the rain will just go right out of there. So you don't have to worry about it getting waterlogged or anything. It'll go right out. And then this door has a little latch on it. Sure it does. And then you just, there we go. You just line it up and then it's shut. And you have the beautiful blue glass and the lantern. And because it's all nice and open, um, you know, you can use regular flame candles, all that good stuff. It stands almost nine inches tall. And it is about five inches wide. And it's got a really pretty design on the blue glass. And so for hanging purposes, it's about one head. Pretty close <laughs> to one head big. And then it just has that lever. You just pull it up and then you can get in to the compartment on the inside. And that one is 12. Oh, hi, Geneva. Geneva is in for 12. She likes her blue. And we will count that down for Geneva. So going once. Going twice and sold to Geneva. Thank you. Yeah. Mm, the Moroccan vibes. I don't have any up here. And those were my two. Hmm. And we will go back to Jen. All right. I know I tried searching stretch plastic frame and it was a bunch of like stuff for canvases <laughs> so that wasn't it that wasn't it all right my next item is going to start at three dollars display frames okay i'll google that uh gonna start at three dollars and i think this is a rose gold back but it has purple stones and then a few little little silver right here going through it looks like you wear it this way but it's a really pretty purple there we go now we focus in now we focus in here is the back there and here is the front and it measures 
about an inch and a half, an inch and a half round. And Lisa's in for three. Thank you, Lisa. I'm going to try to grab this to see if that shows it. Oh, yeah, that's showing it better. And it just sparkles underneath the lights. So whenever you're wearing it, like, out in daylight, mm. it is gorgeous. All right, if Lisa is the only one interested, we can count it down for Lisa. So going once. Going twice. And sold to Lisa for $3. Congratulations, Lisa. It is coming to you. Thank you. All right, my last item of the sale it's going to be another $3 brooch. Brooch. A brooch. <laughs> brooch. Uh, a brooch pendant. It's a combo. It's a oh. combo. It's a combo, y'all. Um, right here. And it looks like this is how you wear it both ways. Right here. So it has gold tone going around. This is your lucky day, Lisa. Yeah, it is, Lisa. Congrats. <laughs> and then it has what looks to be abalone in the middle, probably faux, because it's not super heavy, but it's costume, right? It's costume. So here is the back. Right here, there is the bail. <laughs> and Lisa's in for three. <laughs> there is the bell. Oh, are we getting fancy? It's the only one I remember. <laughs> and then it, I swear, ask Trisha, it took me a year. Oh, to learn e easily, yeah. easily a year. I, hey, I was there on the struggle bus too. <laughs> we could <laughs> not get it. We could, it just did not. Four work. letters, four letter <laughs> word took over a year. You need to go work with those ladies over on Monday and Wednesday. Man, they're they're jewelry people. You say the wrong word, and it's like bam, it's bam. It's like okay, <laughs> okay. I would just like tell tell me what this is. I'm just pointing to it. Tell me what it is. Right. right. All right. I will measure it. It measures an inch and three quarter long by an inch and inch and a quarter um, wide. No, but this displays. Okay, I'll look for that. I'll look for that. Uh, so if Lisa's the only one interested, we'll count it down. So going once, going twice, and sold to Lisa for $3. Congratulations, Lisa. It is coming to you. Thank you so much. Thank Fuss you. Said they're called floating displays. Yeah, that's, that's what I'm going to search right now. Floating displays. Yeah. All right, that was two, and we're going to Denise. Thank you, that was two. Sorry, <laughs> I'm on a mission here. I need some of those frames in my like, life. Forget the sale. I got stuff to find. <laughs> this is $12. It's a cast iron bacon oh. press, and it's got a little pig. It hasn't been used. A lot of them you find have been used, and they got you know, all kinds of bacon crap all over them. But they work good for hamburgers, too. Like if your hamburger, you know, just to... You just sit it on there, and the weight kind of helps the the burger cook a little faster. Oh, yeah. And you can cook them. Yeah, you can use them for bacon, of course. Hence the name, Bacon Press. A lot of people, too, just use them for decoration. They just have them sitting in their pig collection, and, <laughs> and <laughs> there you go. But... But they, but they really are good for cooking, too. It, it's got a little weight to it, enough to hold down a hamburger. Yeah, yeah. it is cute, Mary Beth. Oh, Mary we Beth. I, oh, we have one that my husband uses on the Blackstone that's a bacon press for whenever he makes bacon out there. Oh, you guys are the big-time cookers, aren't you? Oh, no. Who? It ain't no they. Him. <laughs> I have big-time cooking. Cook. I cook because we have to eat. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. If I press a couple numbers on the microwave, it's like, whoo, I'm cooking. 
You, you <laughs> Chef <Look> at me. <laughs> Look at me. It's this is more than just a one minute heat up, man. I'm pushing buttons. <laughs> oh, thanks, Mary Beth. <laughs> yeah, true. It's, yeah, I that's that's about yeah, those black stones. Some of these new grills lately are like, oh my uh, god. I love the black stone though. You can cook up some hibachi up on that, make up your eggs and pancakes and bacon all at the same time. It's good. I huh. have no idea what a black stone is. It's a, basically it's a, a brand, flat it's a brand it's a of a grill, basically. basically. It's a big old griddle. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. And that I think that sounds like a little more than what I need. Yeah. <laughs> Carol's it's, at 13, Mary Beth's at 15. It's a little much for just one person. I mean, a fry pan is too much for one person here at my house. But, <laughs> but you know. I do, I do have a few different versions of fry pans. So well, I got, yeah. I got you a know, couple. Sorry about my yeah. stove that I bought that I have never used yet. Um, so Carol is out. So we will count that down for Mary Beth. Thank you so much, Carol and Mary Beth. Going once. Going twice. And sold to Mary Beth. Thank you so much, Mary Beth. These are cool. I like them. And my last Beth. item, I thought of you, Mary Those Beth. For waffles. <laughs> Oh dear! Yeah. Did you know that, that what you can handle? Waffles? They have What's cereal that? waffles now. I got cocoa pebbles, cocoa pebbles waffles. What? They're so good. What? The only place I go in the cereal aisle is the how is that a thing? You know, these are waffles. They have that. They have fruity pebbles, and I mean, I'm not. What? They're just little dried things. No, they're like they're waffles, waffles, like a like an ego that you put in the toaster and you cook them. Oh, there's so the cereal yeah. in it. Somebody not naming any names. It only comes with six. May have emptied the box. <laughs> <laughs> I understand that. How too. how could that have happened? How did I know? I was looking at Don't eat the waffles. They were good. I, and I didn't even put, I didn't they even were. put syrup on them. They were good. <laughs> And they smelled uh, like warm brownies whenever you were cooking. Oh, oh. I hate it when I find something that I like like that because it's all I can think about. I'll just lay in bed going, those waffle things are out there. <laughs> They're out there. Oh, anyways. So my last item for the sale, Mary Beth, is this cute little, he's an old bear. He's not a bear. Hang on. Laura, I wasn't eating it for nutrition. <laughs> Nutrition was not on my mind whenever I was inhaling the cocoa pebble waffles. No, you can eat the nutritious food later. Oh, don't you know you are what you eat? <laughs> That's uh, fine. Hey, I'm a call me a waffle, Jim Waffle. That's my new. I'm a I'm a Scotcheroo myself. Oh. I'm hooked on Scotcheroo bars. Oh, they were God. so good, and I oh. haven't but I haven't bought them anymore either because they were so good. <laughs> They're dangerous. <laughs> I was like, nope. <laughs> uh, hey, this Roy. cute little this cute little bear is twelve dollars, and he's just an old old bear. Oh no! What? I think I froze. Blink, Denise. Blink. <laughs> <laughs> you did. You did freeze, and you haven't unfroze yet. Trisha, oh. shh. you didn't freeze, girl. You go. Oh, she, never mind. She's not. <laughs> She'll she'll be back. She'll no. be back. Okay, what is I, I was gonna ask that too. What is a scotcheroo? What is a scotcheroo? Who said she said she said that's a bar that she's hooked on? What is a scotcheroo? I'm gonna Google it. Hang on. I got us guys. I will save us. <laughs> All right. We'll 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 wait for Denise. To come back and we'll figure this out. We'll figure out what a oh. scotcheroo is. Oh, oh, scotcheroos are dessert bars with chocolate, butterscotch, peanut butter, and rice krispies. Oh, now Ooh. that sounds like something I can handle. They were popular in the Midwest. Okay, well, there well, you go. <laughs> they're, well, she's in the Midwest, so they've been a favorite, uh, a favorite treat for minis for over a mini for over thirty years. 
Mini. Spiffy. Shh, we're talking about we, scotcheroos. We had to look up what a scotcheroo was. We we didn't, we didn't know. Oh, you're kidding. Mm -hmm. No, but well, I've never heard of it either. Oh, Fairway. hy makes them and they're not as good, but Fairway. Oh, my God. There's like what's, you what's up, Fairway? It's another grocery store. Oh, okay. And they theirs have this like this Hi, Sandy. peanut butter chocolate smell to it. Karen. And and they put the frosting on real thick. Oh there's frosting involved? Chocolate. Yeah. It's kind of a the bottom is almost oh like a some kind of rice crispy crunchy yeah, thing. Okay. Rice crispy. So rice is yeah, not real. Cheese. And then you have the the Shark. butterscotch pieces and the well it, the, the butterscotch or the peanut butter or whatever it is, they're mixed in with the um rice krispies and it's not okay. real fluffy like rice krispies. It's kind of and it's kind of gooey and then this thick frosting. Oh my god. I'm gonna have to go up there today. You had me at frosting. Run the fairway. Yeah. You had, you had me at frosting. That's all I needed to hear. Oh, it's more of a ganache than a oh, frosting. Ooh. Even better. Ganache is so good. I don't know what ganache is, but it's like gosh, a it's the chocolate. Yeah. It's yeah, like a really, really thick, rich. Yeah. Yes, yes. But these at Fairway, you open them and they smell kind of like a butter, um, a peanut butter. And it's like, oh my friggin' God. Oh, well, you had Doug at peanut butter. Me and Doug would go, <laughs> oh. we would go ham on those. We would go. <laughs> that sounds so good. It's do crazy. They sell them, is it in, do they sell them individually or is it like in a whole? like? No, they have a bakery yeah. and they have a bakery and they sell a package of six. And it's like, oh, okay. okay, yeah. And I always try to get the corner pieces where the chocolate's kind of like all built up. And, and I do that on brownies, I only want the corner pieces, yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, uh, I might head up there today. I'll post a picture next next package I get. I'll post a picture. This guy's twelve dollars, by the way. <laughs> this little, this so little. I, have, I still have, I have the twelve up on the screen. <laughs> oh, good deal. Yeah, he's he's twelve dollars. Let me um. Yeah, my handy, handy tape measure out. <laughs> See what happens when we talk about food. Eleven inches tall, and he's awful cute. I haven't made them. So how do oh. you make them fluffy? Just add fluff. Fluff. That marshmallow stuff. I don't want them fluffy. They're heavy. They're they're heavy. Mm. Chocolate oh. heavy. Just and I like them just the way. I'm a foodie. Y'all can't get me talking about food. Oh, we have, do you guys have Nanaimo bars? You know what a Nanaimo bar is? I've heard of it, but I, I haven't heard of it. Yeah. So that's like, um, you I take like that. almost like a brownie or a cookie type bottom. And then you put like a custard. It's like a, like a firmer custard. And then you put chocolate on top of that. Ooh, and that's wow. a Nanaimo bar. Doug, Doug, I, I found our new obsession. That, that thick, thick chocolate on top. We've I found our new obsession, Doug. It's a what is it called? Something roo? Scooter? Scotcheroo. 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 Doug, Doug. He probably already in mid Google already. Doug, Sandy's Doug, having Doug. a salad. Good for you, Sandy. You know, now, that gets to you guys for scotcheroo for dessert. Maybe I should send you a scotcheroo. The highway high V ones, they're just not as they're not up to par. Mm -hmm. I thought they were good until I tasted the other ones. And I was, oh my god. There's oh, you like them too, Peachy Me. Oh, you're not a fan, Anne Marie. Oh, oh. Anne Marie, I'm so sorry. <laughs> I was gonna say that too. I, I'm so sorry. <laughs> I'm so sorry for your diagnosis. Scotch your I'm so sorry for food. your loss. <laughs> yeah. More brownies for us. Maybe, maybe it's a Midwest thing, Scotch your I don't it, know. It is a Midwest thing. Oh, see, Doug Doug said he's had it. What else was it called? Scotch Did you like them, Doug? I, I trust Doug's palate. We have about this pepper is too spicy for us, so we have the same palate. <laughs> so. 
I was like, pepper is spicy AF. <laughs> like, it is spicy. <laughs> Especially after you're done eating and you get one in your tooth and I like you bite down like a few hours later. It's nothing but a peppercorn. I should no. try sending you some. I don't know. If it's not too hot, they'd probably arrive. Okay. If it's oh, too well, hot. It's almost 90 degrees here. Yeah. It has been 90 here, but today, well, it was cold yesterday, kind of, and chilly. It's, today. it's 56 here right now. Well, it would probably make it to you. Okay. They were good. Can't remember. Oh, okay. I think we can pass on Mr. Bear. Mr. All right. Bear. Any takers? I know we haven't been talking about the bear. She's just it's okay. It's up. okay. This is more fun. Scott. But if there's any any takers, why don't you why don't you give him a little a little oh. show off? Show him there. off, girl. Show him off. He's a cute. Him up. Hands up, Mr. Bear. Hands up. He is a cute little bear. He's real sweet. My so brother. Twelve dollars for the cute little, little bear tail there. He either got a tail or he pooped his pants. I'm not sure which, but he's got the little brown feet. He's old. There's no tags or anything. He's kind of sweet. He reminds me of a bear my brother used to have when he was a baby. My brother had that bear. Laura's that, in that that for 12. The body was brown. Or Thanks, browner, Laura. Darker brown. Yeah, he's just a sweet old bear. I got one similar to him up on a shelf too. So, oh, we'll, we'll count that down for Laura. Going Sounds once, good. going oh. twice, <laughs> and sold to Laura. Thanks, Laura. We'll get Mister Bear to you. He doesn't have a name, so you're gonna have to name him. Is the only one. Oh, Roy, you're in the 50s, too? Ugh. Oh, <laughs> that's right. It took me a minute. He's like, oh, talking about weather. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it took me a minute. I'm a little slow on Wednesday. Not, not age, weather. <laughs> oh, like, dear. That, that, that dude ain't nowhere near 50 yet. <laughs> and I'm almost, I'm almost out of there. <laughs> I'm just beginning. I'm, I'm almost beginning. out of that club. Eat. I'm out of the 50s club and they are far oh, really? behind me. <laughs> Am I really? They're not. They're not I'm, almost, I'm almost out of the 60s club. Really? You aging like fine wine, my girl. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, my mom's 97. She'll be 97 this year and she's still she's still rolling along. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> <laughs> so so I have this beautiful plate. I thought this could be even nice for Fourth of July. It's got birds on it. It's kind of red, white, and blue. A little bit of green. It is from Italy. It is an Italian pottery kind of a bowl. It's just it's just bowl enough. You know, the edges are just up enough to call it a bowl. Here is the back. It is made in Italy. And it is uh, nine and three quarter inches. Hi, Nancy. Hi there, Nancy. So I will get in close so you can see the cute little birds all the way around i thought this is like summertime you know a little salad on here a little potato salad on there or fourth of july little desserts now that we know about scotcheroos everybody's gonna be making those i check and see if i can get them on amazon <laughs> you gotta I'll send, got everything. I'll send you some from fairway you can't just get any of them. You just you can't. Um, no. There's a standard. There's a standard. They're, they're not all the same. I mean, I think Cocoa Pebble waffles are good. So those do sound really good though. They're very Trisha, I swear. And I only got them because they were on sale. I was like, oh, I'll try this out. <laughs> Dangerous. And then and then what are you gonna do when the store doesn't carry them anymore? Withdraw. So I'm not gonna eat cauliflower. You can bet on that. You don't like cauliflower? I like broccoli oh. though. 
to me, cauliflower, cauliflower has doesn't no taste. taste like anything is the it problem. It has no taste at all. It yeah. has no taste. Have you ever had it cooked with cheese sauce over the top and some crunchies? <laughs> like Velveeta? Like anything with cheese sauce on it is good. Put enough. Hey, yeah. put enough on there. Um, it'd be good. All right. So we're going to pass on the Italian plate. And then I have a scarf. This is a, I don't know if I'm going to say it right. Satya Paul. Satya Paul. Is that how you say it? I'm not nailed good. It. I'll just say nailed it. I don't know. Not good. It is a 42 inch square. Oh, Mike, you fell asleep. Oh, oh that no. Would, that would be good, though. So. Oh, deep fried cauliflower? That would be good. So I'll show you. It does have a label on here. I This might be silky. I'm not sure. I saw a lot of them were silk. I don't know if this is silk and it doesn't really say silk on it but it is very silky um here we'll do it this way so it is a 42 inch oops 42 inch square there is like a top to it i'm gonna get it here because it's got these beautiful red roses or peonies i'm not sure which in the center so that is the center of the scarf. And then it has these beautiful black and white stripes framing the scarf. So 42 inch square. Now that's almost big enough to be, you know, on top of a little tabletop also. But I'll try to get in here so you can see the detailing on the flowers because they are beautiful. And the leaves are lovely also. So 42 inch vintage scarf. Thanks, Laura. I found them on Amazon, a 10 pack <laughs> added to cart. <laughs> what, Scotch Roos? No, the uh, floating, the floating um, little frames. Uh -oh. That'd be so cute for a gallery wall, right? Start a little gallery wall with them. No, just me. <laughs> no, I think All right. So I don't see any takers no. for the scarf. So we'll pass on that. And that is the last item of the sale. So we are going to do the speed round. I've never had a turnip. Oh, they're so good. Do, I don't think I've ever had one. Do rutabagas taste like turnips, Donna? I don't know. I don't know. Uh, I, had, I had turnips for lunch. They're really good. Hmm. I've never <laughs> had one. I don't know what they taste like. Don't say cauliflower. <laughs> they taste like a turn. They taste like a turnip. They taste like chicken. <laughs> no, <laughs> they taste like chicken. <laughs> yeah. uh, All right. It's speed, believe it or not, y'all, it's speed round time. It is speed round time. <laughs> We've gotten carried away again. Yeah, <laughs> again. I know it. <laughs> Not even cheese can save a turnip. All right, that's all I need to know. That that is that is a negative review for a turnip. <laughs> no, turnip. If you cook them right, they're good. They're really oh. good. Oh, great! Right. Now that's like that's like Brussels sprouts. It's like if you boil a Brussels sprout, get out of here. If you oh, roast it, Brussels. you can I stay. I like Brussels sprouts too. No, oh. Oh. no, no boiled. The smell of a boiled Brussels sprout is one of the worst smells ever. <laughs> and I feel like it would take like, it's one of those things that when you cook it, it takes like three or four days to get the smell out the house. Yes. <laughs> like it lingers. Yes. <laughs> it lingers. Yes. Uh, all right, guys. So my item still available. I have brought four Limoges um, thimbles to the sale. They're all four still available. 
So here is the first one right here. It is a deep blue with a little gold flower right here. It is signed Limoges, France on the inside. $5, letter G. $5. I know, Lynn. Susan, I have zero poker face. So whatever I'm feeling is on my face at all times. At all times. The, the second advice one, is, is to cook a turnip and then throw it in the garbage. There you go. There you go. There you go. Here is the second Limoges symbol. It is a different colored blue, does still have the gold flower like the other one. Here is the marking on the inside. Limoges, France, $5, letter H, $5, letter H. The third one that I had was a little bit bigger. It had florals on it. There we go. Florals on each side. It has a stamp of Limoges right here, $5, letter I, $5, letter I. And then the last one I brought kind of looks like a hat <laughs> almost, uh, does say Limoges right here. I would just eat the bacon. <laughs> Susan knows. Susan knows. She knows me. <laughs> right there. Limoges, France. And then this one has like the little courting couple on the top. $5 letter J. $5 letter J. I had the new old stock little shell party picks. It says there's 50 in here. I believe them because this is still sealed. But they have little shells on the top of each pick. You could use these for our or uh, hors d'oeuvres if you would like or whatever cheese <laughs> cheese cubes um these were five dollars letter k five dollars letter k and then my last item still available i had the cloisonne little hat right here um very pretty colors on it you could hang it up or you could sit it down it does have flowers right here on the underneath as well. This was $5, letter B. $5, letter B. And those were my items. Thank you, guys. All right. And if you saw something you are interested in purchasing, let us know in the chat. Um, if you think about it later. Got you, Jamie. Thank you. Uh, feel free to email us or uh, leave a comment down below. And what was your letter B? The hat. The All right, hat. Sandy's Thank taking you. the hat. Thank you, Sandy. Thank you, Jamie. All right, Denise. Yep. Ready, ready and rare. I've got the, I think there, there's 19 or 20 of these, these doilies. They call them doilies. They're more like a runner, I guess. Oh, no, they call them a runner. And they are 13 by 30. They call them both, a doily <laughs> and a runner. But you can, um, you can use them for sewing or, I don't know, crafts, whatever. So, but you get all 20 for $20. You know what? Just for the speed round, I'll lower them. 20 of them for $15. If you want, ah, it's a bargain. And then the Corningware coffee pot that I just ripped out of mom's cupboard. <laughs> <laughs> It'll just go back in mom's cupboard. If that's it's sound. a percolator. It's a percolator, yeah. And it makes darn good coffee. I'm tempted to make some coffee on it and see what it tastes like. Um, $25 for that. And then I've got the set of metal owls. For fifteen dollars, and they are Sexton USA 1970 little metal owls, cute as can be. I'd like to go to somebody else's house. This woman's make crazy. And then six inches or a bag full of postcards. Now lower those to forty dollars. And that's my. All right, Mike would like the owls. Okay, thanks, Mike. Mike, you're going to have a lot of owls in your house. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks Mike, so much. They are all going to be staring at you. 
They're all going to be so you know, in the middle of the night. Whoo, whoo. They're all going to be following you around no matter which way you go. <laughs> you know, you turn them around when you go to sleep. Pro tip. <laughs> Thank you so much, Mike. And I have a stainless steel Chromex server. It does have gold handles on this, the stainless steel. And this is $8, number four, and it's 14 inches long from handle to handle. This is about eight, eight inches long in there. And I'll try not to blind everybody with that because that is shiny. Uh, the three-piece set. This is a Bavaria. And this is a beautiful pink dogwood three-piece set. You have the teacup, the saucer, and the little luncheon, breakfast, or snack plate. These are marked Bavaria on the back. And this set is $12, number six, for the three-piece set. And then the last two items, the Italian uh, pottery bird bowl. This is $10, number nine. And the scarf, 42 <clears throat> by 42 inch square. And it is by Satya Paul. And that is $15. Uh, number 10, $15, number 10. All right. So let me get everybody back here. And Jen, where can people find you next? Mike, how can you sleep through this entertainment? <laughs> I yeah. don't get it. You must um, have been really tired. <laughs> really tired. Um, so tomorrow is a double, another double sale day for me. Um, I am going to have a sale with Karen Vintage Retriever. I know you guys see her in the chat. Uh, we are going to do a sale together for the very first time uh, tomorrow at noon central. And then later that evening, it is the Spin Your Thursday with Roy and Jen sale, the vintage variety show um, with myself and Roy with Dust Not Included. That one is at 5.30 p.m. Central, and this week we are on Roy's channel. We alternate channels um, every single week. And then Friday is the Twin Sister Sale with myself and my twin sister, Christine. I'm bringing more of those purses that you guys loved. I actually went back, found some more, uh, so I'm bringing a lot of those purses um, on Friday. Again, 1.30 p.m. Um, on my channel for the Twin Sister Sale. Peanut. <laughs> Hi, Peanut. And Denise, what do you have going on next besides Peanut? <laughs> oh, let's see. Denise is saying that on Mondays she is with Lisa Fun Finds on Mondays. Wednesday with uh, Vintage Jewels, Gems, and Pearls. Stop pushing buttons. Mister. <laughs> like, I know it. And, um, I'm on the next episode of Friends. They haven't had the sign up yet, so I don't know what time. Oh. And that's pretty much it for now. <laughs> it's like, I'm around. I'm around. <laughs> Catch me if you can. <laughs> <laughs> and I will be back Thursday and Friday mornings for my lunchtime sale. Friday night, 7 p.m. for the Sue Spezio Show with Aaron Proctor and Angie's Oddities, and Saturday night for my late night sale at 10 p.m. Easter, uh, Eastern, I will have Sabrina. Simon says, let's make a deal. Ooh, that's a lot of words. That's a lot of words. <laughs> but thank you. Thank you, Denise, for joining yeah, us for you, the Denise. double sale. Thank Thanks you, for DM, for all of your help in the chat. This one doesn't work. Oh, like yarnigans? Well, how she does that, and then all these hearts come flying out of her hand. That's mad. Ma now that's magic. I don't have that magic. On my home computer, it works, but on this one, it doesn't. Oh, for real? Yeah, I need to oh. check the settings or something. I don't know. Whoa, fancy. <laughs> but thank you, everyone, so much for joining us today. Um, 
yeah, we will see you in the chats and we'll see. Some of us will see you tomorrow. Yeah. <laughs> Bye, everyone. Bye, everyone.